All right, you guys, so I got to do this really quickly right now. I am in our cabin taking a little bit of a break. My wife is going down water slides. I can't do it. I cannot go down not one more water slide. I am like all water slide out. So the deal is we are going to meet back at six, but this is the perfect time for you to hop on and do a quick video. <laughs> I'm so dead if she walks through that door, that door right there, right there. I am dead, but I wanted to do this, you guys, because I feel like I, I you know, we haven't done anything for a while, and I kind of get nervous when I haven't put anything on the channel for a while, so I wanted to reach out and talk to you guys while I have a little bit of time. So, there's a lot of things we could talk about today, you guys, but let's talk real quickly about Into the Badlands. Notice you guys don't have the intro and all that kind of good stuff, because this video is coming from, or to you, rather, from... Uh, where am we are? We're in St. Martin now. But let's talk into the Badlands, you guys. Um, so I'm going to start with what I always start with. If this is your first time seeing this video and you are a fan of Into the Badlands and you have not subscribed to this channel, well, good grief, what are you waiting for? Because we do cover this channel heavily. So today we're going to get into some predictions, you guys, about Into the Badlands. I mean, hey, why not, right? We're in a holding pattern. We do not know when the next episode is going to air. We're during our mid-season break. So a lot of us, you know, who are addicted to the show on the Facebook group and other places, we're just kind of looking at each other and just kind of saying, man, uh... When are we going to get the next episode? When are we going to get the next episode, AMC? That's what we want to know. Inquiry minds want to know. So let's get into this, you guys, because there are some things that I noticed that I want to talk about. So we're going to talk about some theories. I want to know what your theories are while we have some time to really dig into some things while we're waiting for the next episode. So what I'm super excited about, and I hope you're excited about this too, is listen, think about the major players that are back in the storyline. We've got the master back in the storyline. We've got my girl, my work wife, or my TV wife rather, the widow, who apparently has gotten her powers back. We've got Sunny, we've got uh, Pilgrim, Azura has been found or Azura has been restarted. We've got um, Ankara, who I think will be a bigger part, to mark my words, and Kara's going to be a bigger part to play in this than we realize. We've got Cressida. So we've got all of these major folks back in the show and a lot of stuff to talk about. So one of the things that I'm really interested in is also Baji. I'm telling you, Baji is a super wild card. Remember I said it, Baji is a super, super wild card in this as well. Oh, this, You know what? Listen, a lot of people I'm keeping my eye on. I can't get into it too much. I say I want my honeymoon, and if she comes through that door, I'm in trouble. So I do want to say this, though. What I thought was interesting is you guys remember the conversation that Baji was having with Cressida, and he brings up Ankara's name, and she's just like Ankara. Like, she doesn't know who Ankara is. I'm not buying that. I think that she very much knows who Ankara is, and I think I said this in another video. I feel like in somehow, some way, Ankara is a threat to her. Uh, and maybe even a threat to Pilgrim. But I'm, I'm sure, I'm sure she knows. I'm sure Cressida knows who Ankara is. There's no way in the world that Ankara knows all of that information about Sunny, about Baji, and about all that's taking place. And Cressida not have any idea who she is. I just think that Cressida is too informed of a person not to know who Ankara is. Being as though Ankara knows so much about Pilgrim and all that's going on. And I do think my sense is that she is trying to put on that she doesn't know who Ankaria's Cressida is, that is trying to put on that she doesn't know who Ankari is. But I think that Ankari is some type of threat to her. I do think that Baji has a larger role to play in this than, uh, than we do realize right now. I think Ankara hints to that, right, when, when she says something to the effect of Baji and Sunny being together uh, on purpose. This is kind of a destiny-type deal for the two of them. So listen, there's so much to dig into in this show. So it's kind of good, right? I guess, that we have a little bit of a mid-season break because we can kind of dig into things and pick things apart. But I do want to see what happens when Ankara and Crescent meet. I'm pretty sure it's going to happen. I know that some of you guys in the comments have said that you don't think that Ankara is going to have a major role, and neither do I, but I think she's going to have an important role, and hopefully we'll see her a lot more than just here and there, because I do think that she's a really important player in all of this. Can't wait to see how they bring in Minerva now. Like, what's going on with her? I can't wait to see that, and 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 maybe a team up with her. And the can you um, listen? Listen, let me let me ask you guys a question. Can you imagine if we got a team up of the Master Minerva and Sunny, all against Pilgrim? Man, 
that would be awesome. But honestly, how many of us really know what's going to happen? You know, the writers tend to t sometimes kind of turn things on their head. And we don't even know really what direction Pilgrim's going to go. We don't, and we think, and myself included, everybody thinks that it's going to be Sunny versus Pilgrim. But do, do, we, who, do, do you know, really? Haven't met Sunny's sister yet. Well, <laughs> man, there's so much stuff to look forward to. So listen, guys, here's the deal. While we're waiting... And I'm like, you can't wait for the next show to start, the second half of the series. But there's a lot of stuff for us to pick through. So a lot of stuff for us to pick through. So you guys, what are your theories? What do you think might happen? What do you think we might get for the second half of things? Do you think that, um, do you think that Nyx is going to defect? I kind of see Nyx going Team Widow, or I did see Nyx going Team Widow. I don't even know what Team Widow looks like now. I really don't. Who knows what's going to happen with all of that? And then we have all of our other players with, with Moon and and with Gaius and 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 Lydia. It's, and who knows? Who knows? Stephen Lang, Waldo might rejoin the cast. Man, there's so much stuff to talk about, so much stuff to look forward to. So, you guys, I just want to hop on and shoot this quick video. We are in St. Martin now, getting ready to pull off in about an hour or so. Then we are headed to Puerto Rico. Ho! Oh. I don't even know why I said you guys remember that song, Puerto Rico. Never mind. Then we're going to Puerto Rico and then we're going to end up in La Badi, Haiti. And then we'll be cruising on our way back home. <clears throat> so, guys, what are your thoughts? What are your thoughts about what might be coming for the second half of Into the Badlands, you guys? As always, if you love Into the Badlands and you are not subscribed to this channel, then what are you waiting for? You know, we love the show. One of the major threats of this channel. But listen, there, listen. We're going to really start getting into a lot more Marvel stuff, too, because there's a lot to talk about. I'm telling you, some big, big, big things happen, I think, for Marvel at the end of Infinity War that's really going to shake some folks up. And I think folks might actually enjoy the second phase, not the second phase, but the next phase of Marvel more than they've done these last 18, 19 movies. Remember I said it. What's today's day? Whatever it is. July the 17th. 2018 remember i said this. so we're gonna get into that as well you guys if you have not subscribed make sure you subscribe to the channel and we will be back hopefully i'll be back next week you guys um after i get off my honeymoon we'll start doing videos again i'm looking forward to it you guys so with that make sure you hit that like and subscribe button and share this so that we can get some conversation going on around your predictions for into the badlands i will try and monitor the comments as much as i can as much as i have internet connection and um, and I'm allowed to comment from my wife, who does support my YouTube habits, so that's a good thing. Thanks, guys, so much. As always, uh, have a great time watching whatever you're watching, watching what you're following. If somebody hears something about when we get our next start time of Into the Badlands, make sure you put that in the comments below. Um, uh, there's a Facebook group too. I'm not even sure like how to tag it with this on my phone. I don't know how to do it, but if I can, I'll put a link to it. Check those guys out for Into the Badlands. Great, great, awesome group there. I'm a part of that group as well. Great conversation going on about Into the Badlands in that group. And it's a closed group. So it's really, really Into the Badlands specific. Very cool people in that group. And I'll try and put that in the comments, or not the comments, but the description if I can figure out how to do that from my phone. Thanks guys so much. And with that, I will see you on the next video. Peace.